I just want to take a second to address this, the seniors leaving EIS this year. Every single one of you has, in one way or another, shaped EIS for the better, and your absence will not be soon forgotten. And now that you come to this ending of, it's also a beginning to your new period of life. That's what life is, a series of beginnings and endings, beginnings and endings. Um, I want you to remember that even though we're sad for this ending right now, let's not forget to smile for the new beginning. And as always, go out into the world and be excellent to each other. Take care. Good morning, my dear students. Each year, I and the rest of your teachers send you out, or should I say, let loose a batch of you students into the wide world from the confines of a school that has been a comfort zone and a second home to most of you. That even happened this year too. With a mixture of sadness and joy, we said bye, we will miss you. I am proud of all of you, but there are some who have frustrated me. Not because of an attitude or absences, but because of the fact that they refuse to recognize and work towards the potential that is within them, that is within all of you. Yet, all of you have learned something from this place, from us, just as we have learned from you, and that is a good thing. Me, I have learned of various sites, the best places to eat, some computer tricks, and patience, of course. Some words of advice before I close. Never doubt yourselves. I think we have given you some confidence, some values and principles other than or maybe reinforced what has been taught by your parents. Aim high and reach for the stars, my dears. You can do it, I'm sure. Congratulations to all of you and best of luck. Go graduates, congratulations on reaching grade 12 successfully. I wish for all of you the best that the world can offer you. And as you move from EIS, I wish you God's richest blessing, God's grace and mercy on each one of you. Never forget that he's there to help you all the time. But at the same time, people, go live your life and live it to the fullest. All the best. I love you all. Hello, hello, seniors. Congratulations. You did it. You've made it through high school. Now, all of you are heading out into different directions, and you're off to chase your dreams. So keep chasing them, keep moving forward, and do it knowing that you already left a mark in the hearts of your teachers and a mark on EIS. So go off and continue to leave a mark anywhere you go. I pray that God guides you all, and remember, stay perseverant, stay kind, and stay awesome, because you guys already are. I am immensely proud of you EIS Senior Class of 2022, especially to my yearbook team, general business students, and lunchmates who I call my sons and daughters. Thank you for all the memories we've shared, the lessons you have taught me, and the respect and trust you showed me. Now I can say that you are finally done with high school, but not with furthering your education. As you press on towards that academic goal, you can be assured of my prayers, and most importantly, the graciousness of the God you came to know here in EIS. Congratulations, and may you continue to shine the light and love unique to Ekamai International School. I will miss you. Class of 2022, well done. Congratulations on reaching this milestone. I hope and pray that experiences and lessons learned will enable you to smoothen the transition to the next phase of your journey in life. May you keep the good Lord by your side as you venture out so that his guidance will always be upon you. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you all around. Enjoy. Congratulations, EIS graduates of 2022. May God bless all of you as you continue to chase your dreams. We are praying for you. Hello EAS graduating seniors of 2022. First of all, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you on a job well done. You have survived 
your journey in EIS and now you are ready to move forward to the next stage of your educational endeavor. As you go to different universities to advance your education, I would like to share with you a famous saying by Senator Orrin Hatch. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. So leaving EIS is not the end, but it is just the beginning of something new. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Congratulations once again and happy graduation. A senior of uh, 2022, uh, it has been a very interesting year for us and uh, I'm privileged to have known you, uh, all of you, and uh, you know that I know you by name, right? Um, well, obviously uh, I'm a lot older than you are, so uh, I will definitely forget some of the names, but I'll tell you that I will always remember you. Uh, your faces, I will always remember your faces. Uh, some of uh, you that sleep in the class, I will still remember your faces, even though you sleep throughout uh, the school year, I would say. Um, well, what I want to, sh uh, to tell you is that uh, you are always uh, special, regardless of uh, you know, whatever people say. Uh, you are the only you. Okay. And I want you to embrace that. And as you move forward, uh, I want you to know that uh, you are unique and therefore there's none, uh, no one like you. And uh, I want you to be proud of yourself and uh, to do the best you can, right? And know that uh, we here as a school of family will always uh, pray for you and we will always uh, be there to support you. And I hope that uh, you will find time in your, uh, in your busy schedule to come over and spend time with us after you uh, graduated, you're in your university or when you have your families, uh, you can always find time to come and uh, spend time with us. So I wish you the best and God be with you always. Take care. Hi seniors, another year, another end, a new beginning for all of you. I've had two classes, AP language and honors for two years. I've enjoyed having both of you. You've driven me insane and I've driven you all insane. So it's been fun. I've seen you grow from scared little girls and boys to very intelligent, independent leaders. I have enjoyed watching you all become beautiful people, great singers, and thank you, my honors for uh, grade 12 honors for singing to me, even though I didn't ask for it, but it was fun. AP, your journey from people who couldn't write a decent paragraph to people who are writing and research papers and are doing such great work shows me that there is so much potential in your analysis, in your thinking, in your reading and writing. I know you guys will succeed in the literature world and be leaders no matter what. My homeroom. Blessed and true, you have taught me that anything and everything is possible and sometimes it's the impossible which makes it so possible. You have grown, you have driven me insane in a very different way, given me good blood pressure and yet some of you have surprised me and yourselves and are happy to say that you all did well. It's been fun having you in my homeroom and I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you, good luck, love you, come back, and know that EIS is always be here and it is your home. Congratulations to the seniors. Well, let me start with the Bible verse in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make straight your part. And one thing I want to leave with every one of you and just to remind myself and hope that you can keep it as your journey. Congratulations for your 
completely successful your journey with the EIS, then you're gonna start the new destination, which is gonna be university. The word that I want to mention is attitude. The attitude that you have toward the world is what the world attitude gonna come back at you. And if you have the bad attitude, well, bad attitude is like a fat ties. You cannot go anywhere until you change it. So make sure that you have the right attitude because life should be an exciting adventure. So again, congratulations to every one of you. Thank you. May God bless you. What can I say? I'm going to miss you. You were the first full year I taught here at EIS and are an amazing group of students. You should all be very proud of what you have accomplished so far in your lives and know that you are more than prepared for life at university. I congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future. Three pieces of advice I have for you. Number one, recreate yourself. You are as others perceive you. Don't focus on how you see yourself. Be the person you intend to become. Two, renew efforts to excel. Improve your abilities by at least 5% each year. Don't slow down. Three, reach beyond your comfort zone. Visualize yourself in high positions and don't limit yourself. Be flexible, be willing. Soar above the clouds, take hold of opportunities that become available and know you will always succeed. You have been equipped by some great teachers. May God continue to bless your lives. Let me share some important words from our Lord for you. From Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. สวัสดีค่ะครูอาวนะคะก็ขอแสดงความยินดีกับนักเรียนทุกๆคนด้วยนะคะที่จบการศึกษาในระดับชั้นไฮสคูลนะคะหลังจากนี้ก็จะเป็นการเดินทางที่อีกสำคัญอีกสเต็ปหนึ่งนะคะก็คือการเรียนในระดับมหาวิทยาลัยก็ขอให้นักเรียนทุกคนนะคะมีความสุขกับการเรียนแล้วก็เก็บเกี่ยวความรู้ประสบการณ์ให้ได้มากที่สุดนะคะแล้วก็ต่อไปนี้อาจจะเจอเรื่องผิดหวังบ้างดีใจบ้างก็ถือว่าเป็นสิ่งหนึ่งในชีวิตเนาะขอให้เด็กๆนะคะก้าวต่อไปอย่างมีความสุขนะคะถ้ามีปัญหาอะไรหรือว่าเจออุปสรรคอะไรมีคําถามอยากได้คําปรึกษาก็มาหาคุณครูได้เสมอเลยนะคะจะยืนอยู่ข้างๆเสมอนะคะแล้วก็จะรอคอยดูความสําเร็จของเด็กๆทุกคนนะคะบ๊ายบาย Good morning graduating class of 2022 and most importantly my accounting class 12C this year has been a interesting year. It has had its ups and downs. Initially, it was the COVID-19 scare. Then it was quarantining. But we made it. With God's help, we as a team stood together. And that is why you are successful. Remember, God has a plan for all of us. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. May I wish you God's richest blessing as you step into a new phase of your education. Thank you.